here, YouTube. We're back again today for more of our Origins Bonanza coverage, and we're here live at the North Star Games booth. And I love Winston Wagers. It's one of my favorite party games of all time. But last night, I tried something different, something transformative, something life-changing. And Bruce is going to tell you all about this new Winston Wagers expansion coming out. Hey, Bruce. Hey! What? Bowers Game Corner. I can see all of you. What is Wits and Wagers Vegas? Okay, so Wits and Wagers Vegas, let me show you a couple of things. First of all, it's an expansion to Wits and Wagers Party, uh, which you can find mostly at your local Target, your local game store. Um, I know a lot of people see it in your local Target. It's an expansion to this game, so let me show you what it is. It is this mat, and I can't give you, and I, it's three foot by two foot. The mat is gigantic. You could cover a small dog in it and they would be warm. You could throw it down as a welcome mat. I can't, I, anything I can do to give you an idea of the size. One side of it is Whitson Wagers Deluxe, just like you've seen it, but so much bigger. If this is the game you like, this is the version you play for your big parties. This will fill a table. Now, if I flip it over, it's a brand new game called Wits and Wagers Vegas. And let's go down to the table and take a look. A couple things to note to you. One of the things that's hardest for people about Wits and Wagers is being able to uh, center around the median. We've taken care of that. If you're going to play with six people, you use the We Are Closed banner, and that covers the middle. If you're going to play with five, you cover up the two ends, and you just play the middle. Now you just arrange them smallest to largest, and you still get to do the payout odds. If you know the game, it's going to work like this. Everything in the middle is exactly what you've seen before. However, we've added my favorite feature, which is at the bottom. If you're like me, you kind of forget part of the way through what question you're on. And you have to kind of talk to the room. You're like, I don't know. Are we on four? No, I think Susie read it. We have to be five, right? Well, now you don't have to worry about it. You actually stack chips up on these numbers. 100, 200, 300, all the way up to 700. That's going to be your payout now. So what you're going to do is when you paid out question one, you pull the chips and you pay the question. Now you know, you can visually see you're on number two. The other thing that does is, is as the game goes on, you get more money for being the closest without going over. So as people are making more money, your correctish answers are now worth more money. We've also added the red and the black. If you bet the red, you get the three red answers. If you bet the black, you get the three black answers. Or if these are out, you would get the two and two. Uh, now gives you a chance to make a bet. You know it's the high part or the low part of the numbers. Now you can bet it for even money. Final new bet on the table is the long shot. Yeah. For this one, rather than betting on a number, you're going to bet on a player. So what's going to happen is, is, let's say Bauer and I are playing, and something comes up, I know Bauer knows. All the answers are going to come out face down. I'm going to bet him at 10 to 1 odds that he's going to get it right before I've seen what his answer is. Um, now, for those of you that are worried that money gets out of control here, you can only bet the base chips you start the game with. So you can only bet your $100 and $200 chips that you get when you start the game. And if you have party, you already know about these. If not, this may be a time for you to see them. Uh, but you can only bet those, so it can get just so crazy. But also, late in the game, if you're in trouble, you can start betting the long shots to get back in. Beyond that, it's Winston Wagers just like you're used to. It's a seven question uh, standardized game show like you've seen all the times. So but we've added all these crazy new bets and this marker to keep you in control. And then these, and then this is, it's like a mouse pad. I'll also let you know, those of you at home, if you don't need uh, Winston Wagers mat, but you just need a three foot by two foot mouse pad, my feelings aren't hurt. Feel free to buy it for that if you need the world's largest mouse pad. It will be going on Kickstarter on August 19th which is the Saturday of Gen Con. The, uh, the levels they've told me will be available are gonna be the mat or the mat and party so that you're already ready to go. And I've been Bruce from North Star Games. Are there any other questions, Bauer? You can cut that last part out if you need to. Elvis? Yes, as a matter of fact, you are going to get Elvis in there. I'm glad you reminded me. Uh, in Winston Wagers Party, there are six players and an Elvis board that just has the number one on it. We have additionally given you, along with the mat and these cool little side mats, is you get Elvis that you're allowed to play with, Elvis gets two chips, and you also get 500s and 1000s to pay off all of the bets with, as well as a pin so that the Elvis player can play the game. Uh, this is coming out later this year. You know I normally try and steer you guys the right way. Believe the hype. This this is going to bump this into a lot of people's favorite party games. It is just amazing. I can't wait for people to play this. Thank you so much. We really hope people like this. We love this at North Star Games. Once again, it will be going on Kickstarter August the 19th, which is the Saturday of Gen Con. All right.
Alright, sounds very good. Expect a review of this coming sooner rather than later. If you've enjoyed this Origins coverage, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.